Okay, welcome back to building a CSS menu part two. And where I last left off, we were working on styling the anchor tags that are nested inside of the unordered list. Let's go back and find exactly what I'm speaking of. We are going to now style the anchor tag that is inside of an unordered list that is inside of a list that is inside of another unordered list with an ID of an Okay, that was a mouthful. But let's go ahead and get started. So you can see what we have. We have the functionality, but we need to add to it a little bit more. There's still some cosmetic issues that we need to work on. Let's first set a background color so we know where we're working. Okay, that looks good. Set a display to block. And make sure all the margins and padding are zero again. We'll make the height as it needs to be. Line height. And a lot of this is just to make sure all the browsers show it exactly the way we want it. And you see here how the text is right up against the border? We don't want to do that. So let's give some right border. So we do top zero, right zero, bottom zero, left zero. That looks pretty good. But still, when I hover over this submenu, I'm going to want some kind of feedback that I'm actually hitting a link. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the background color and make it this nice green that we have. And let me find where I wrote that down. There it is. So, nav, li, when they hover over it, we want to take the unordered list that has a list that has an anchor tag, and when they hover over that, we're going to change the background color to It's as simple as that. But now look, when we hover over it, the background is actually taking up a little bit more space than is needed. So how can we fix that? Well, pretty easily. We're going to go to the list and just tell it, anything that overflows, just hide it. It doesn't need to be seen. And look, see it's chops that off right there. Now obviously you could do much more styling. You could you could work on the text, you could use images, you could use backgrounds. Th the idea of this isn't to give you some amazing cosmetic menu. It's to show you how to build one. So you can style this to your heart's content. So we're going to copy this and save it. And if I haven't said already, I work with ASP.NET, so these are ASPX pages. But it doesn't matter. If you're using HTML, it makes no difference. We're not using any of the ASP functionality. So I'm going to copy this into my style sheet. And as you can see here, I, if I didn't mention, we, we've created a link to our style sheet right here in our heading. And the next step is to test it out in the dreaded Internet Explorer. Just to double check in Firefox. Yep, everything looks good there. Okay. Let me make sure this fits your window. Okay. Uh huh. So it works perfectly. All you can see is if we go back into our Firefox, edit CSS using no tables and just CSS styles, we completely style the menu. That's all it looks like. And you add your styles and you have a full working menu. So I hope this helped you and if you have any more questions, please come to my blog at www.detachdesigns.blog and I'd be glad to help you or if you have any tips for me, I'd be glad to listen. Uh, we're all trying to learn this thing, so thank you very much.